Hi everyone, it's Sheila and first of all I would like to start by saying Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, welcome to 2015 and farewell to 2014. That being said, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering where I've been, what I've been up to because I like totally vanished off of the face of YouTube and um, I am sorry that I kind of dropped off without really uh, coming on and saying anything but a lot of things started to happen around June, July, August of 2014. Um, there was some deaths and just some different things that really, really, uh, I don't know how to say it other than just kind of made me have to step back for a little while. And I just could not bring myself to come on and do a video. I watched a lot of videos and I thought about every each and every one of you every day in some at some point or another. But um, I just was not able to come on and do videos. Uh, a lot of things happening in my personal life that I just, like I said, I just could not do it. So again, I'm truly sorry. I am so glad that 2015 has finally arrived. And on that note as well, I would also like to take the time out to kind of share with you all what my plans are for 2015. Uh, first of all, I don't have all my personal problems worked out, so that's number one. So that is going to be a work in progress. So I'm going to ask each and every one of you to have prayers for me and um, yeah, to just to keep me in your thoughts and know that it's nothing personal towards YouTube or anything like that. It's just that I have a lot of things going on and my goal is to at least go back to doing one video or I shouldn't even say go back because most of the time I never did a video every week anyhow, but that was always my, you know, my inner goal and that is still my inner goal. I would love to say I could do two videos a week, but that would just totally be stretching it. So um, I am going to make a real honest effort to get back into it and at least try to do one video a week. Now today I do plan to try to record two videos, um, hopefully um, this one and one other one. I did do one on New Year's Day and I may still post it. Um, I just, I wanted to do that one because it was New Year's Day and then I just got to thinking about things and I just kind of decided that I really needed to do this video and post this one first and then maybe if I still feel that that one's okay to post, I will go ahead and post it. So, um, what am I, what are my plans for 2015 other than doing one video a week? Um, I am going to, uh, really focus on, um, getting some personal things of mine in my personal life together. Um, I don't want to really go into a lot of details, but there's something about being 49 years old and you really take a look at your life and you really stop and think, you know, am I where I need to be? Um, do I have the right people in my life? Things like that. And that is something that I have been dealing with. And uh, yeah, so um, that being said, I keep saying that, but um, so 2015, I am really going to focus on kind of just, you know, making sure that I'm taking care of those things, making sure that um, before I reach the rightful age of 50, that I am exactly where I want to be. Um, I, uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of videos and everyone doing their resolutions and everyone kind of, you know, and it's a great thing to kind of like, you know, get rid of the bad stuff and kind of figure out what you want to do to make your new year better. And I, I think it's great. Um, a lot of things I've been hearing is, you know, cleaning out the makeup and all that good stuff. And uh, that's something that I probably really need to do. Not that I have um, nearly as much makeup as most of the ladies or people here on YouTube because I can't even begin to touch surface with them. But I do have a lot for a person that um, don't have any sponsors or anything like that. Just a person that have actually been just going out and buying their makeup or getting it as gifts from family members, you know, for Christmas and holidays and birthdays and all that good stuff. So I do want to kind of go through some of mine and just kind of, you know, just maybe get rid of some of the things that I don't use. I have a coworker that I know could use um, some of the items that I have that I probably have never even used. So I think I'm going to make a nice little gift box and give to her um, because she's a really dear person. And I know she has two kids in college and one in high school. And, you know, they've just kind of been hit financially pretty hard this past year. And she's kind of put herself on the back burner. So I am going to 
I think make a little gift basket for her uh, just to let her know that she's loved and she's appreciated. So that is going to take care of some of the items that I have in my makeup collection that I want to get rid of and other things that have been kind of maybe just too old or whatever, those things I'm just going to trash. Um, as far as my part-time job go, um, I kind of set a goal for myself to maybe leave my part-time job at the end of February. Um, it may linger on into March because of some financial goals that I have. Um, and that being said, I am not going to be spending, or I haven't been actually spending any of my money, um, very little of my part-time money on like uh, the stuff, which is what I usually would haul, do my haul videos and everything relied on my part-time job. I'm, I really haven't been doing that as much. Um, I've been buying a few things, but not a lot. Uh, just kind of, like I said, there's just been so much going on. This really, really caused me to have to do a, you know, just a whole, whole stop and about phase. So um, I, I really want to say that I'm going to step away from my part-time job by the middle to the end of March is a more realistic goal. And if I am lucky and fortunate, maybe by the end of February. And if I do, um, that's not going to hopefully interfere with me doing my videos. I am just going to make them a little bit more sharper and just kind of keep you a little bit more, you know, I will still do hauls and different things like that, but there's just maybe a different approach. I won't be spending that part-time money, so to speak. Maybe I will focus on showing you how to be budget-friendly. Um, you know, I've heard a couple people doing the note buy. I don't really, I, I really don't want to... The no buy thing doesn't really sound like something that's going to work for me because I believe that there are going to be things that you're going to need. And so if you kind of do the no buy and you run out of mascara or you run out of, and I, because I know a lot of us do have tons of mascara that we like to, to hoard and we have extra bottles, but you know, there are some other things that, you know, like me, I don't have a lot of eyeliners. And if I run out of my eyeliner, I generally have to go and buy another one. So um, I don't really want to say a no buy but I wanted to say a smart buy. And I do like um, the idea of writing things down and not going out impulsive buying because that is something I think I kind of picked up from having the part-time job because, you know, I get my, you know, I get all this money on Saturday night and Sunday I could go to Sephora and I could impulse buy the whole darn store and spend the, you know, spend everything that I made. And, um, so if I don't have the part-time job, I'm not going to be able to do that as much anyway. But if I do, you know, during the time that I continue to have that part-time job, I don't want to impulse buy. I do really want to set some goals of some things that I, you know, like, okay, if this is something that I want, I'm going to write it down, not go out and buy it right away. Maybe, you know, look at it on YouTube, look at several, several reviews and just kind of make my decision, decision, excuse me, if that's something that I still really, really want after watching 20 or 50 videos. <laughs> <laughs> to determine, you know, everybody's pros and cons about the particular product. And I haven't done that as much. And it's crazy because that's what YouTube is all about. You can really, really shop an item before you buy it. But I tend to, I watch one video and oh my God, this person makes it sound perfect and wonderful and I just got to have it and I go out and buy it. So my goal this time is to really, really make the list research it on YouTube, watch as many videos on it as I possibly can. And then if I'm still, still 100% sure that I want to try that product, then I'm going to go ahead and try the product. So that's one of my, you know, I think it's an obtainable goal. I, at least I hope it is. And um, as far as health um, and taking care of myself, that's not something that's ever been a real, real bad issue of mine. Now, um, I did gain a few pounds more than I wanted to a few years back. And I had some dental work done and I lost all of that weight and it was great. And I gained a little bit of it back. I've gained about seven pounds of it back, which some people say uh, that it looks better on me because they didn't like me being so thin. Um, I don't like the seven pounds. I still carry that seven pounds. But uh, a few weeks ago, I did hit myself back into the gym and um, I've always been a person that worked out. I just kind of, along with the, everything that was going on in the latter part of 2014, I say like the last six months of 2014, um, I kind of threw that by the wayside. I just did not have the energy, the courage in my or the belief in myself enough to go out and do that gym thing. And so a few weeks ago, I... I did what <laughs> what really works for me. And I know this sounds totally crazy, but you will probably be able to relate to this. Um, 
some people, you know, they have different things to motivate them. So I have been really, really watching, um, you know, uh, looking at a lot of the workout clothing and I love workout clothing. I, well, I love it when you're going to the gym. I don't like to wear it like on a day to day basis, going to the store or things like that. I, I don't mean that. But, you know, I think when you go to work out, I have this thing about, you know, if you look good, you work out good. Kind of like when you go to work, if you look good going to work, you look professional, you will perform better. Well, I do believe that to be true as far as workout goes. So I ended up buying myself. I spent about $100 on some new workout clothing. And I knew if I did that, that I was not going to leave that stuff just sitting in a bag or sitting in my closet, that I was going to hit the gym full force. And so that's what I did. Now, when I I say full force I'm not talking crazy like I'm not going to gym seven days a week none of that I always have worked out on a very realistic basic I try to do three to four times to work out a week and if I can't make all three or the four I don't freak out I don't panic I I still do a lot of walking um, you know I don't park in the closest parking spot I do all of those other things I squat when I'm at home I do my um, calves when I'm in the shower, I still do all of those things. And I will still continue to do those things. I just wasn't physically going out to the gym and working out. So I incorporate all of that into my several times a week workout. So I am still getting a very decent workout. Now, I, I have noticed since I've done that, that I have lost inches, even though the weight itself has not dropped. But, you know, I did the little shake thing underneath the arm, the little arm test thing, I guess, so to speak. And that totally freaked me out. Um, I cannot have... I cannot have flab shaking. Um, it's just not for me. And and please, please don't anyone misunderstand that. I am not making fun of anyone or I'm not belittling anyone because I know that is a that that's something that we as women or people in general deal with every single day of their lives. Some of us do. And um, that had never happened to me before. And I went to do something and I felt my arm shake. I freaked. I was like, okay, girl, you really need to get a grip because, you know, and, I, and I'm not even a heavy person. So it doesn't, you know, it's not like people, you know, people kind of relate certain things to certain type of people. And that's not the case. It's for all of us. It's as we age, our bodies changes up, things happen. And um, so when I got the little shape thing going, I told myself, uh, uh. so I went out and bought me some workout clothes and I did get a fantastic pair of sneakers for Christmas. Um, I love them. They are so comfortable. They have been perfect for the gym um, and they're bright, bright yellow. Um, I may do a Christmas haul. Um, uh, well, a Christmas, what I got for Christmas type of thing. I don't know. I know it's a little late because it's like already January 10th. But um, yeah, better late than never. So if you are interested in that, you know, let me know and I'll be more than happy to share some of the things that I got or some of the workout clothes. I could do a whole, you know, um, these are my workout clothes for 2015, my, you know, my first uh, set of workout clothes. Now, I, some people are going to say, oh, she just did that because it's 2015 and everyone signs up for the gym and all this good stuff um, the first part of the year. And I know that to be true. But like I said, I did start this before the end of the year. And I, even for those people that, you know, even if they only go for like a month or six weeks, at least at six weeks of their lives, they did really try. I do hope that everyone can incorporate a better workout, a better um, taking care of themselves routine, better eating habits, all of that stuff. If you can just take baby steps to get there, we all are not on the same page. Some of us are more motivated than others. Some of us have more to get rid of and it's just hard. So I totally understand every aspect of it. I, I really, really do. And so um, I just had to work, find out what worked for me. And, and now that I, you know, I, I found it and identified myself with it, I'm good. I am, you know, I'm not going to say I'm a hundred percent, but I am back to taking care of myself. Not that I ever really stopped taking care of myself, but like I said, I'm back more of making sure I am doing the workout thing. And I know I talk a lot with my hands. I try so hard not to, but it's just one of those things that I cannot help. So, um, I apologize if you keep seeing my hand move into the camera, but um, yeah. So what else can I share with you about what's going on with me? Um, my son, I will let you all know that, um, and that has had a big part of it too. My son is overseas. <clears throat> Excuse me. He will be overseas for a few more months. And so anyone, um, any continued prayers and I would welcome, welcome so much for my son. He's away from his wife and my grandson, and it's been dramatically hard for him and for her. It's so funny because she mentioned the other day on Christmas how everyone's, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. 
<clears throat> how everyone has been saying, you know, hey, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <clears throat> goodness gracious. That's horrible. OK, so maybe I'll have to cut some of this out of the video. But that so many people were saying how happy they are to see her and that she's back home and how happy she she must be. And she said, but they don't realize my better half is missing. And I could totally identify with her and it brought tears to my eyes because I know how that is. I, you know, my son's father was was is retired military. So I know what it's like to be away from your loved one. And um, my son had to miss his son's second Christmas, which was his real really first Christmas because it was the first one that he could play with things. And thanks to this great world of technology, oh my God, we were able to Skype. Um, and so he got to see a lot of it, but it also, it still wasn't the same. And so um, that's been an experience. So um, to them, you know, and to all of our soldiers all over the world that are away from their families, my heart goes out to you. And um, hopefully a lot of you are going to be coming home in 2015. And um, yeah, so just had to get that out there. And um, I think I've kind of rambled quite a bit, but I and I know it sounds probably like I'm kind of like going all over the place. And I probably am. I just really, really wanted to just kind of touch bases with you all. I want to get this video uploaded so that um, you can have an idea that, OK, she's back. And for you that have stuck around, thank you so much. I hope I didn't lose many subscribers. To be perfectly honest with you, I refuse to even look. I, Because of the state of mind that I was in, I was afraid that I was probably losing subscribers because I don't have a lot. I, I'm not... I'm not big on YouTube by any means. I'm 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 basically of non-existence. I have a few faithful followers and people that comment and I love them dearly, but I'm not I'm not there. So um I hope me disappearing didn't cause me to lose a whole lot of my subscribers. And to any of you that did leave a message or um, and I didn't get back to you, I think I kind of got back to most people at the very beginning of the time that I dropped off, but then I kind of like I said, I just did not have um, the stamina to go ahead and, and just get on to YouTube. I, I know that just sounds crazy, and um, but I just couldn't. So I truly, truly apologize. And if you by chance still have me in your, in your um, subscribe list, then watch this video. Please accept my true and deepest apology for stepping away. And um, it's not an excuse. It's just the plain truth. I just had... A lot of life going on, more life than I was able. And, I, and you know what? I don't want to say more life than I was able to handle because God never puts on us more than what we could handle. I just couldn't, I couldn't throw YouTube in there too. I just couldn't get on the camera and have this beautiful smile on my face every day, um, during most of the time. So I just didn't want to. I didn't want to bring negativity. So I just thought it's best that I just stay away. Um, and um, yeah, so I think I kind of touched bases on pretty much everything. Um, I hope I didn't leave anything out. Uh, again, uh, 2015, I'm hoping for it to be a much, much better year. Uh, any new subscribers, I do welcome. If you're watching my video for the first time and you've never watched any of my videos before, I do encourage you to go and um, check out some of my videos. Um, I hope to be doing better filming, better videos also. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe 2015, hopefully I'll get some new equipment, things like that. You know, I really, really, really want to grow this channel. I, um, I, I really do. I really want to really make this something important in my life. It is important, but I, I mean, I want to make it a very targeted goal to be better at. So, um, if you are watching my video for the very first time, please hit that subscribe button and please leave comments below. Um, I have, like I said, I have been watching videos, so I do know I'm not the only one that have been having a lot of things going on in their life. And any of you that have had some things going on in your life and you just want to share with me or you just want to chat about it, you're more than welcome to leave a comment below. And if for some reason you don't want everyone to read your comment, but you just need to, a person to vent to, my email address will be posted on this video as well. Feel free to leave me an email. Um, because even though I have been going through a lot of things, I still have this huge big heart and I have helped so many other people that were going through things themselves. And in the long run, it kind of helped me as well, because when I am helping someone else deal with their problems, mine don't seem so great. So, you know, and that's what it's all about. It's 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 you know, we all have to 
figure out a way to be helpful and good to ourselves as well as to others. So that being said, feel free, feel free by all means to comment in any way that you feel. Now, when I say that, I don't want any negative comments. Um, you know, I I haven't really gotten any. I've, I've had a few like, you know, people saying something silly, but I, I'm, I guess I'm fortunate, but then I guess because I don't have a lot of followers either that I don't have a lot of negativity. So I am going to start off by saying let's hope that I don't have that either um, in 2015 or ever. And for those of you do that do leave negative comments on other people's video, please give it a rest. Just stop it. Don't hate on people. Don't don't talk negative or talk down to other people. It's just not a good thing. It's a reflection on you. You're not doing anything. I mean, yeah, you may hurt their feelings and you may cause, and some of you have caused people to disappear from YouTube. And that's really, really sad that um, people have affected other people in that way. Um, so for 2015, I want to say to all of the people that leave negative comments and to the ones that have received comments, first of all, the ones that leave negative comments, leave that behind in 2014. Make yourself a better person. And the ones that have been receiving the negative comments, forget it in 2014. Brush it off your shoulder. It's going to be better. 2015 will be your year. Just leave it, you know, just leave it where it lie. Don't let it get to you. Um, and that goes as far as life as well. Um, yeah, just leave it where, leave the bad stuff where it is. Don't let it get to you. I have to tell myself that every day, like I said, um, because I am still really, really dealing with a very personal, personal issue that I have some decisions that I need to make. And I'm having such a hard time making these decisions. And um, but I'm going to get them done and I am going to do what's best for me. Um, so I keep rambling. I cannot stop rambling. So anyhow, I'm going to stop, 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 stop. And um, I hope you subscribe. I hope you leave comments. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I uh, look forward to doing more videos with you all and I will see you in my very next video. Bye. Mwah.